Greetings Multiverse! As big PC gamers and big fans of Injustice 2, we were thrilled when Warner Brothers finally agreed to release Injustice 2 on PC. That happened in the same week as Justice League on November the 14th, the same day as the Hellboy DLC, and we were thrilled. Unfortunately, while the port itself seemed initially to be quite good, we're beginning to question whether Warner Brothers has again abandoned a Netherrealm fighting game on PC. Injustice 1 had basically no online support whatsoever, and Mortal Kombat X was completely abandoned, and so we didn't get all the fighters until the Game of the Year edition came out. This time with Injustice 2, at the moment there is no mobile link, so no way to get gold mother boxes or silver mother boxes on the daily login. Hellboy is completely AWOL, even though he came out a month ago for consoles, with no clue whether the Atom's going to come anytime soon either, and he's due next week on consoles. There's been no patches despite a number of issues, including some really serious ones involving crushing, and the Justice League event, with all the cool gear options for the likes of Batman, Flash and Aquaman, were completely missing from the multiverse. And we're beginning to wonder, are these things ever going to appear on PC? Warner Brothers has been silent on the whole topic, and our efforts to get in touch with their PR department have met with complete silence. Fortunately, there is hope. Just this week, a couple of pinned topics from a Warner Brothers representative called WB Daniel has appeared on the Steam forums for Injustice 2. On game balance and bug fixes, Warner Brothers say they are currently working on an update which will include balancing and bug fixes, and will be sure to inform PC players when the update will be available once we confirm the timing. Okay, good news, and also on Hellboy and the Atom, they say that they're hoping to have Hellboy available in the next couple of weeks with the Atom following shortly after. Thank you for your patience. Well, that is good news, and I really hope that Warner Brothers actually keep to it this time. I'm greatly anticipating the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I'm sure you guys are too, and I'd hate to think that I won't be able to play them on my favourite platform, the PC. I'll be playing them on the console version anyway, but I want them on the PC as well. And I hate to think that once again that Warner Brothers have completely abandoned one of their games. After what happened with Injustice 1 and Mortal Combat X, PC owners have a right to be cautious, and especially after how long it took Injustice 2 to come to PC in the first place, we can understand, and Warner Brothers should be able to understand, why PC owners are feeling just a little bit impatient and antsy about their support, and Warner Brothers' track record in this department. Still, we hope WB Daniel's comments come to fruition, and we'll get Hellboy, The Atom, and a patch very soon. But what do you guys think? Do you think Warner Brothers are actually going to give us what they promised? Or is Injustice 2 on PC once again going to be cast out and PC owners left in the lurch? Leave your comments below and we'll be sure to respond. And if you haven't already, subscribe to DC Comics Gamer for regular DC Comics content, including everything on Injustice 2. Thanks for watching folks. Multiverse, out.